Have you ever entered the haunted Kubernetes cluster? Well, inside the haunted Kubernetes clusters, ghosts are not the scariest thing. The scariest thing is the Kubernetes myth configurations and three are spooky fucking has actually created a lot of myth configurations for us and we have to fix it. <laughs> so you, my Kubernetes audience, just stay with me and we will go through this together. I don't have to be on it alone. You have to be there with me and let's fix all the pods and fire away the ghosts today. Before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. As you can see on the screen, there are a lot of haunted pods inside our haunted Kubernetes clusters, but some of them are not in good shape. And whatever is running, we have to make sure that they are okay. So let's see what is there in this container creating thing. CDL, we know the drill, right? CDL, describe pod. And we can see the pod has been scheduled successfully to a particular node and Kubelet has given an error that mouse setup failed. So there is some config map which is missing. Let's try to see the YAML for this. So this is the YAML file and we can see it is using a config map in the volume section called missing config map. But we don't have any config map yet. kubectl get cf. So we can see we just have the cube root CA certificate and we do not have the config map. But this evil pumpkin has put that intentionally. So what we do to fix this, we create a config map. Cat CM. I already have a config map prepared with the name of existing config map. Inside config map, we can put data and in that we can define key value pairs. So let's apply this cube CTL apply hyphen FCM. And inside our pod, let's change the name of this. Save this. So you cannot directly apply the config map. So you have to delete the pod and recreate it. Cube CDL get pods. Our pod is running successfully now. One issue is fixed. We are not too far to fix it all. Stay with me till the end. Let's try to see what is this crash loop back off. Cube CDL describe pod. Okay, so. It has been assigned and it is crashed loop back off. Let's try to get the YAML for that. And in this, if we look above, we can see that in the last state terminated, there is a reason mentioned OOM kill. So OOM kill means the pod has gone out of memory and you can see there are no logs. There is nothing mentioned in the describe. So you have to do kubectl get pod and hyphen o YAML file. In that, you will be able to see in the last state terminated and the reason for that. So, it is 137 and the reason is OOM kill. It clearly mentions over there. Sometimes, when you do kubectl get pods, the status changes from crash to back off to OOM kill. But right now, it is OOM kill. What could be the reason? The reason is, in the resources, request and limit are not properly set, which is leading here to OOM kill. Right now, it is intentional, but there can be scenarios where you have not configured it correctly. So this much configuration can lead to a OOM kill, hungry memory pod that can haunt your cluster. So let's fix this. So kubectl will delete this. Now in the fixed pod, the resources limit and request pod memory is properly defined. So let's apply this kubectl get pods. And we can see our pod is up and running without any issues. So we have fixed two issues. You must be sad, right? But not my Cube Simplify family. They are happy. Because you cannot call Cube Simplify all year with your use and misconfiguration with the Kubernetes cluster. What about the last one? These pods look fine, but there is one issue which is there, which I'll tell you and let's see what issue is there. Cube CDL exec hyphen ID haunted pod one hyphen hyphen pink the IP of pod 2. In Kubernetes, every pod is able to communicate with every other pod. But in this particular case, the pod is not able to communicate with the other pod. But what if we wanted that this particular pod should be able to communicate with the other pod? Why it is not happening? So there might be something which is applied onto this particular cluster which is preventing that. That something in Kubernetes is called a network policy. 
So network policy is the concept and a Kubernetes object which is CNI dependent that is container network interface dependent implementation dependent where when you create the network policy it can allow and restrict that specific traffic from specific pods and namespaces to other namespaces and pods very important from the certification perspective as well so this you can see ping is not working and if we do a kubectl get network policy we can see there is a deny all network policy if we do a hyphen o yaml for that we'll be able to see what was applied to this particular cluster and it says every pod everything traffic is denied egress and ingress so in order to fix this we need to create a network policy which makes sense so we first delete this kubectl delete network policy deny all and now there is a policy that i have created now this particular network policy allows specific traffic here it matches the pod selector with the name haunted board one so only targets the haunted board one Policy type is for both ingress and egress and here the ingress from port selector haunted port 2 is allowed and egress to the haunted port 2 is also allowed. So it allows both ingress and egress traffic specifically with haunted port 2. So let's try to run the same ping command. kubectl exec hyphen it haunted port 1 ping and it works. So although there were no issues with the running pods but some spooky mid configurations were creating a mess for us. And now if you see kubectl get ports, all the four ports are running and we have again fixed all the stuff, all the mid configurations done by this spooky pumpkin over here. So you do not have to get scared. If you are getting scared, then you are not watching Cube Simplify. So make sure to subscribe to that channel and press the bell icon. See you in the next one.